OK, so we're going to look at differentiating ln of kx. OK, so first of all, I need to know what the derivative is of um, log of x. So in order to differentiate log of x, what I first of all use is e both sides, effectively. So I get e to the y is equal to e to the ln x. Now, e to the ln x is just going to be x, like so. You can then differentiate both sides of this equation, the left-hand side using implicit differentiation. So implicitly differentiating e to the y with respect to x, I get e to the y dy by dx. And on the right-hand side, I get 1. So we can then divide both sides by the e to the y, like so. Now, y, remember, was ln of x. And so e to the ln x is just, is just x. So y equals ln of x differentiates to 1 over x, strangely. Okay? And that's how we do it. That's how we show it, using implicit differentiation. Now, in order to differentiate that, I'm going to use the chain rule again. So if I let u be kx, then y is going to be ln of u. So du by dx is k. dy by du, we now know, is 1 over u. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So k times 1 over u. So k over u. But remember, u was just kx. So the k's just cancel, and I get left with 1 over x. So interestingly, log of 2x, or log of 3x, or log of 5x, or log of a million x, will differentiate to 1 over x regardless of that value of k. Well, as long as k is uh, a constant greater than 0.